labeler, which I'll put the video on right now, so you can actually see that, and then we'll go into the other. We'll check out the new labeler so I can label all the lots of stuff. She made one of these for me. I have one and I have one now I have a label that cost me 50 bucks. Okay. The other one that breaks things, remember? Oh, okay. Never used to cost 50 bucks. They used to be Jeez, can't even open the thing. Oh. Ooh. Comes with instructions. What the hell? Yeah, self-adhesive to labels, yeah. I'll work it out as we go through it. Oi! Sebastian! Get out of it. Little rat bag you are. Comes with instructions. We don't need them. Huh, little RFID. Microchip tag. We need one, two, three, fours, double those. One, two, three, four. Look at that! Alright, so... Should I use the pay for one first? Yeah. Not oh, plastic. Take it, that just clips into there. Right, it's the right one that says label maker. Let's see if it works. Space M A K E R and print. Cut. It works. So, as you can see, I ended up buying a labeler um, for 50 bucks from Woolworths. So I can actually label the box that I keep it in, and we have Frank is stuck. Get out of there. There's Frank. Say hi, Frank. Stop tangling up with bloody cords, you prick. So yeah, he's busy cleaning. That's a heater. Alright, let's put this back here so you can't go in there. Get out of there, Frank. Come on. Out for you. There we go. Now he's off. Now I've got to finish cleaning up dishes. Anyway, I bought a labeler so I could actually label the box that I keep my lock cam in. Let's head down here to the office. So, yes, I keep the. I bought a labeler which is right here. And even as you saw in the video, made a label that says label maker. Um, so I can label the label maker so we know what it is. But 
I wanted to put a label on the box that I actually keep my lock cam in. And I've got it down in my new toolbox down here. For all the break-ins anything kit, which has now been upgraded. Um, so I've actually wanted one so I could put lock cam on here. So I'm keeping it in a hard box so I need to know which one's which. So let me pause this, get all spun around and focus down on the bench so we can have a look at it. Okay, so the lock cam. Now I bought this to use it. It's like an endoscope. I paid $16 for it off of eBay, um, which I did talk about in the live stream. And I said I would review it. So I've put in this nice little hard case just to protect it. But I paid $16 for it. It's meant to come with a disc. It didn't um, for software, but you can just download the app. There's heaps of different apps for it. Just find one that will work. Um, now, I have to use it on the tablet because for some reason, Oppo phones, like my phone and Blazer's phone, they do not run the program or actually send power or anything to the light or the uh, camera. But this come in handy today. I have to go around to my nephew's and open up a lock that was on a... Um, a TV unit, so it's like the old cupboard locks and ends up, I wasn't sure what kind of lock, so I used the lock cam to have a look. But, turns out that I actually have a master key for them, which is the old cabinet keys, like this one here. So I've actually just ordered some new ones in for them, um, and stuff like that, so I can give them a new one, because they lost the keys. And the computer charger was actually in the cupboard that was locked. I managed to get the other one unlocked, but they couldn't unlock the other one that had the charger in it. So, anyway... This come in handy so I could actually put it into the lock and have a look around and see what was going on and what was the problem. So this thing is going to come in bloody handy for locks to have a look on the inside, see what's going on, uh, to look on the other side of doors so you can actually look up under the door to see what's on the other side of the door. Um, if you're like a red team or penetration test or anything like that, you know, it's small, it's compact and this is bloody cheap for $16. It does the freaking job. Uh, or if you're, you know, trying to get into a car, automotive, locksmith, and you're trying to get Slim Jim into the right spot in the door, you can actually put this through the weather seal and have a look to see where the Slim Jim is to hook it onto the right one. Um, so it has multiple uses, and we'll, I'll go through one of the uses here. I'll show you what the quality is kind of like and everything. So what do you get for $16? You actually get the camera itself. Now, I only got a short one, uh, which all up was a meter long. I don't need anything bloody huge. And it's not like a lot of endoscopes where you can actually fix it into place. Um, it's not one of those stiff mount ones. These is actually flimsy and flexible, so you can actually bend it around. Uh, so if you kind of want to look up and turn it up, you can kink it so it sits that way and looks up. But just tape a thin piece of metal onto it. Um, you know, just enough that it gives it a little bit of rigidness and you can actually bend it around. So if you find something that's flim, thin and flexible, you know, this will work for you if you want to be able to fix it into a certain position. Now, to run it, I'm going to run it through the tablet. So let me make sure that this is all in view. And we'll put this in here. Let me guess I'm doing it the wrong way. Of course I am. So as soon as you plug it into the tablet, it automatically brings up the software that I'm using. And this also has a light on it, which you can see is actually quite powerful. Um, and you can dull down the light. You can record the video. So let's turn. So you can have it so there's no light. And you can, and you can adjust the light to be as light, bright or as no light at all. Um, the only thing I noticed with this one is it's got a little bit of a busted camera in a way, kind of pixelated, weird. I've tried to fix it, but it won't. Um, I don't think it's actually the camera, but for $16, you don't expect much. So as you can see, it's kind of got like this cross section, a line through the middle, and this weird line down this side, which shows you the other bit. Um, so it doesn't quite work right. There is a line right through the middle of the screen. Little bike over there, you can't see it. Let's sit down over here. Um, so there's a line right through the middle here. And this section here is actually over there. So you can actually pinch and zoom in with the app and everything like that. So, wait up. Nope. So, 
it's got motion detection. We don't need any of that. This is a USB camera, and you can actually, you know, record it or snapshot, so you can actually see what you're looking at and keep it for reference. But as I said, it come in handy today to look into the lock to actually see what I was working, looking at, and what kind of lock I was tackling. You do get a get a little bit, get a couple of attachments with it. Uh, so let's just bring these out here in this little bag. You get a magnet tool right here. So you get a little magnet tool that clips onto the ends by using this cover just here. So you can sit the tool in and then you can fit that. Fit that over there, put your tool in. It's hard to try. And Come on, get in there like that. So you can actually wedge that over your camera, put it in the right position. Come on, get into position. There we go. Um, so you got a little magnet attachment, so you can actually see what you're after. So if you drop something down somewhere and you try to pick it up, you can actually you know, grab onto it and see what you're doing. Now, the strength of this magnet, I'm actually pretty impressed with. Uh, let's see, what do I have that can hold? It's not magnetic. Um, the amount of weight I was actually holding off this thing, I was quite impressed. Uh, let's go this lock. Um, so, it actually has quite a bit of weight. I can kind of lift that padlock up before it lets go. Um, so it actually has quite a bit of weight for a small little not like rare earth magnet that they've got in there. So you know, that's going to work bloody well, come in handy. You get a little, come on out, hook. So if you need the hook onto something, you can hook onto it. And the last but not least, well last, you get a tiny little mirror so you can actually screw this on to the end of the camera and it gives you the reverse picture kind of thing so you can look around on the angle and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of the mirror, I don't really like it uh, to be honest with you but what will come in handy is probably the hooks and the magnet in time but the mirror not so much. So the pixel quality isn't the absolute best, um, but as again, for a little endoscope, you're not expecting you know, that much for $16, to be completely honest with you. Um, but it works, and when it comes to actually looking into locks, so let me grab one. Grab this wannabe, you know, old style lever lock. And when you try and look in, you can't really see much of what's going on in there, but, with the use of the camera, let's make sure we're in view. And I can save this and then send it through to put into videos. But with the use of the camera, let's turn the light on here. So now we actually have light. But with the use of the camera, I can see, move it around. See the levers down on the inside just there. There we go, like that. That, so you can kind of count how many levers are in there. See what's on the other side. Now you can actually have a look down in there. So for those kind of locks, it works well. Um, let's have a look. Skis, what else? I can see there's a list laying in front of me. Um, let's go have a look at the abloy. So you can see down inside the abloy. See what's going on inside there. So if you've got locks, you know, something not right with it, you can actually look and see what's going on. Let's try another little wafer lock. So you can actually see the wafers down inside of the lock. Just a little bit of practice, you know, to see. 
you can look down on there and see where the wafers are sitting, you know, if there's any damage or anything like that. You can actually bring it all up through this camera. Now, it does put out a little bit of heat uh, from the light. It's not too bad. But the cool thing is it is waterproof. So you can actually stick it in a glass of water or down the drain or anything like that. And I've already tested that. Um, and she's not going to, you know, be destroyed because it's waterproof. But for 16 bucks, you can't grumble and it's pretty powerful led lights on it on small leds so there you go the little lock cam i'm going to be using this quite a bit that's why i put it into my break into anything kit um i'm just trying to see what other locks i've got laying around we're gonna have a look skin let's try this cap one let's have a look and you can see the wafers there So it's definitely going to come in handy um, for jobs and stuff like that. Find out what's going on with locks. You can see what kind of wear is on them. Oh, let's grab a really old, old padlock. Here we go. And you can kind of look down, see the boarding and the levers and everything else that's going on down in there. So it actually works quite bloody well. I'm really impressed. And as I said, it's definitely going to come in handy for jobs to see what is going on in the lock, what kind of lock I'm actually tackling. Now, some it works better than others. Come on. Kind of see the first pin just there. Um, you know, you can kind of see what's going on to help you tackle locks. So it's definitely going to come in handy. So let's get out of this. Um, but as I said, I suppose it won't work on, but if you have a Samsung or another kind of Android, more than likely it will actually work on there, just for some reason. Oppo phones, it doesn't like. So anyway, there we go. Probably the best $16 I've spent. Um, plus my label maker, so I can actually label everything now. So we have luck cam. Definitely gonna come in handy. So. Anyway, as always, you know what to do. Follow the codes. Keep the locks for bloody legal. You know, come and join us on Discord. Show me the link. Links in the description down below. Don't forget to find us on Teespring. The website's getting done through Daryl. There's a link to him in the description down below. Same as Teespring, Discord, Locksmith's Toolbox. It's all down in the description. Go and read the bloody description and have a look. See what's on there. Please give a thumbs up. Really do bloody appreciate it. And yeah, till next time.